Hey traders, welcome back to Tiffany Trades Options. My name is Tiffany and I love to trade stock options. Today is July 8th. It's about 12.30 p.m. I just wanted to give you guys some account updates. The Apple position closed earlier this week for $1, so $100.29. In total, I ended up keeping $107 off of this trade. And if you recall from the video a few weeks back, this trade started off as an iron condor because I wanted you guys to see what that looked like. And then true to form, the stock market and Apple decided that they were going to do what they wanted to do and Apple blew through the call credit spread side of that trade. And I had rolled up the initial put spread to collect a little bit of extra credit, which is right here. And then I converted the call credit spread side to a very wide put credit spread side. It ended up being a $10 wide spread, which is not ideal for this account because it's a small account. But I was pretty bullish on Apple. And as you can see lately, it's it's been in around the 370 range. And so I'm glad that I did what I did, although I do not recommend doing that with small accounts this is not ideal i i did it because i really didn't want to take a 250 fifty dollar loss but i was willing to let that buying power hold for a while while the trade worked itself out um so with that said i'm going to try not to do that again <laughs> it's, it's not my preference i don't like to do that i like to keep enough um, buying power open to be able to do other things so now we're back to square one we have fifteen hundred dollars in the account with fifteen hundred dollars buying power the market has been kind of holding steady over the last week or so a little bit up a little bit down but nothing too crazy um i think today i want to talk a little bit about earnings earnings are coming up and as you can see there is an earnings event today and then starting about in five days and then going for the next three or four weeks or so um, i'm not going to put an earnings trade on today but i might do that in the, in the near future um, but earnings is a good time to get into options trading because that is when uh, volatility tends to increase around that particular underlying asset. So um, if you're looking for a high, uh, high implied volatility, you might want to keep an eye on the earnings calendar. You might be able to find some good trades there. You can also sort by IV rank here in the Tastyworks platform. This is the web-based version, but you can also sort in the um, application, the desktop application as well. And so there are stocks that have high earnings, net high implied volatility right now, so these might be some ideal trades. Just keep in mind that um, stocks with big numbers like Amazon and Tesla will tend to swing very widely if, in response to earnings, and so you want to uh, be mindful of that. If you're putting on a trade, you probably don't want to get it too close to at or near the money. You might want to go a couple of standard deviations further away. But these could be um, some good opportunities to get into, and um, you might get to experience volatility crush if you're an option seller. This is a good thing. If you're an option buyer, this is not a bad. This is not a good thing. And um, as I've said in a video previously, uh, volatility is great for sellers, not great for buyers. Okay, so very quickly, IWM is the Russell um, 2000 ETF. It, tra it trades like a stock. I. I uh, looked at the chart and it also has the highest IV rank right now among all the ETFs. So it's it's getting it's somewhat close to 50 percent. But um, because it is the highest IV rank, it will generally tend to give you a little bit more premium when you're selling options. I want to show you what I was looking at when I was looking at the chart and why I decided that I'm going to open up a trade in IWM today. Um, so this is the Thinkorswim platform. This is a little bit more sophisticated and slightly better than the E-Trade charting that I've done in the past. So I will refer back to this from now on. Um, in my last video, I had two screens set up, but I wanted to take a look at a longer range for IWM. And this is the 90 day, two hour mark. And as you can see, IWM has had some swings up and down over the last few months, but the general trend for most of that time has it's been hanging out at least since may may 22nd or so between the 140 and 145 range it has gone above 145 as you can see right here this was about june 5th through the 10th and then it went below the 140 range and this was about june 11th through the 15th so kind of a 
four to five day range above and below. A little bit over here as well, but not by much. So I think what I'm going to do today, because IWM has been trading somewhat flat, and granted, this is caveated that you never know what's going to happen, and maybe tomorrow it'll do something crazy and drop down to 136. don't really know, but because I'm familiar with IWM and it is a somewhat consistent um, ETF, I'm going to open up a put credit spread in that today. I've decided that I will open that up in a weekly so that I can get a 250 wide strike and collect over one third of the credit. So right now, August 14th is 37 days away. If I did August 21st, I would not be able to do 250 wide the way I want. I could do $2 wide, but I'd cut, collect a little bit less credit. Still more, still about the same uh, risk reward ratio though, but I'd rather just do 250 wide instead of $2 wide. And so I'm going to go to August 14th instead. So I'm going to open up at 140. Uh, this will be the short side, and then the long side will be at 137.50. And right now, the midpoint for this trade is 96 cents. The bids and the acts, uh, 88 cents to 104. So this is probably a good entry point. I'm not going to try to go up or down. I'm just going to see what happens. If we review this trade, the buying power will be reduced by 156.30. The max profit that we can collect if we hold through expiration is $96, and the max loss would be 154. Effectively, that's 250 minus 96, and then you get your potential max loss is 154. Um, IWM is trading around 140 today, so I'm opening up the short side pretty close to at the money. And that there's nothing wrong with that, but if you want to ensure a greater probability of success, you can move a little bit further away but keeping in mind that you'll collect less credit. So if I decided to do 137.50 to 135, it increases the probability of success by a few percentage points, but it also decreases the credit collected by about $14. So I'm gonna go back up because I'm pretty confident that IWM will stay within the range over the next 37 days. So we'll see what happens. All right, so the second stock that I think that I'm going to open up a trade in today is Lululemon. I am picking them because they don't have earnings coming up. In fact, their earnings are coming up in September, so they've recently reported. They do have a lower IV rank, but Lululemon is a very popular stock to trade options around, so I'm not as concerned about collecting the right amount of premium. I want to show you their chart because there is a bull case for Lululemon. This is the one year, one day chart. And as you can see, this is around the February mark pre-COVID. This was the low that got down to 128, which seems kind of crazy now. Um, and they're trading around 309. Their recent high was 324. And I suspect their, er yeah, so their earnings came out. What is this date? This is around the 11th. Yeah, so on June 11th, they reported earnings, which explains why their next reporting date won't be for um, a few more months. But in any event, um, uh, they have been trending bullishly for a long time now. This is the one-year mark, um, three years. So, it, you know, there is sort of this upward trend. And say what you want about the company. They have um, a lot of financial strength and if you are anything like me in this covid pandemic and you are working from home you are living in workout clothes i am currently wearing a pair of lululemon pants myself right now and i'm not sponsored by them i'm not trying to push them i'm just saying that there is a strong case that their products will continue to sell and do very well which will make the stock do very well so i am confident in this trade. I'm going to open up a similar put credit spread. I know it's boring. You've seen them before, but the market is trending bullish, so don't fight the trend and do what works. So the last trade that I went for was August 14th. Let's check out August 21st. All right, so these are $10 wide, and I'm not going to do that because as I was just talking about earlier, this is a small count and $10 wide does not work. So let's check out August 7th. So here we can do 250 wide or $5 wide if we wanted to. And the same thing with August 14th. And these are ideal because they're within the 30 to 60 day range. I'll go with August 14th since that's 37 days and I can have two trades on at the same time. 
Let's just explore what's going on here. So, go quickly back to the chart. All right, so over the last 20 days, Lululemon's low was 282 and its high was 324. Generally been staying around the 314 to 288-ish. So it's anywhere between 288 to 314. Um, and that can help guide where you want to open the strikes at for any put spreads or if you should you so choose any call spreads and maybe you want to do a call debit spread instead of a call credit spread because you are more likely to gain from a call debit spread if Lululemon continues in its bull direction. But I'm going to do a put credit spread because I like those. I'd rather collect money than pay for it. So this is an indication that it's a little bit illiquid right here at 297.50. Further away we go, tends to do that as well. Let's check out volume. So it looks like there is a little bit of volume right here, but it's better over here. All right, so I think I'm gonna do 300 to 297.50. 300 is about in the middle of the range. So it might work pretty well. And although Lululemon looks like it might be coming into the oversold territory, I'm fairly confident that it will reverse and hang out above this range. So I'm going to do 300 to 97.50. Collecting a similar amount of credit as the last trade. 57% probability of profit. Reduces buying power by 154.31. Max profit is 98. Max loss is 152. Trying to get closer to the midpoint. These are wider, so it's possible that this might not get filled today, but I'm not going to force it. So... Oh, that was quick. All right, so Lululemon got filled at 96 cents minus your standard one dollar two dollar and thirty cent fees um iwm is still working so i will let that work all right so i took a break because i had to go to a meeting for my day job and while i was away the iwm position was filled which is awesome so both of these positions were filled at 96 cents minus the two dollars and thirty ish cents in fees I'm going to add this to the Tiffany Trades Options Trade Journal in just a second. If you want to check it out, the link is in the description below. Um, please let me know if you have any questions. I will point out to you based on my uh, video about Delta last week that the Delta weight of this portfolio is positive 6.62. That is because both of these are positions that would result in uh, net positive Delta. I am in short, short credit. Ugh. I am in short put credit spreads, which means that I have a bullish outlook on both of these trades and I want the stock to increase and then therefore long the market. Um, and with that said, if you've made it this far, you know that I appreciate you very much and I'm so happy that you're here. Please do me a favor. If you found any value in this video, hit the like button, leave a comment, and most important, subscribe. When you do subscribe, make sure that you hit the notification bell and select the all option so that you are always notified when I upload a video to the Tiffany Trades Options channel. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great weekend. Bye.